The Spider's Thread Original Story by Ryuno Sakaya It was one morning in paradise. Buddha was strolling around the lotus pond. Flowers in the lotus pond were in full bloom. They were reflecting the morning light like jewels. Pleasant smell was coming from those flowers. Buddha stood at the edge of the pond and looked down through the lotus leaves covering the water surface. The bottom of hell happens to be located directly under this celestial pond. Looking through the lotus leaves, Buddha was able to clearly see the river of death and the mountain of needles, like looking through a magnifying glass. Buddha had spotted a man struggling with other sinners at the bottom of hell. He recognized the man. His name was Kandata. He was a notorious thief. He had robbed, committed arson, and murdered many people. And because of his evil doing, he is now down in hell to take the punishment. However, there was just one good thing he had done in his life. One day, when he was walking through a deep forest, he saw a spider crawling across the road. At first, he thought of stepping on it. But somehow, he changed his mind. No, no. The spider is very small, but it has life. I should not kill this poor spider with no reason. So, he let the spider go. While watching through the pond, Buddha recalled that Kandata had saved the life of a spider. He thought of giving Kandata a chance to escape from hell for the good deed. It happened that a spider was threading a web on Paradise Sky. Buddha took a thread and cast it down to the pond to reach far into the bottom of hell. At the bottom of hell, Candetta was swimming up and down in the blood pond. It was dark. Except, occasionally, he saw glitters from needle mountains and heard screams and sighs of countless sinners. All sinners were exhausted from the extreme torments of hell. Even Candetta was no exemption. He was now just crawling around like a dying frog. One time, Candata mindlessly looked up. What he saw was a silver thread, thin and glittering. It was slowly coming down from the darkness far above. What the hell would that be? Then Candata shouted out with joy. How nice! If I climb up on this thread, I will be able to escape from here. It may even be possible to reach paradise. Then, all my sufferings will be over. Kandata immediately grabbed the thread and started to climb upon it with all his might. He was good at doing such things because he was a thief. But it was a long long way. There are many thousands of miles from hell to paradise. After climbing for a while, Candata finally got exhausted and could not move. So, wrapping his arms on the thread, he took a rest and looked down below. The blood pond and the mountain of needles were now so small. They are just barely visible at the bottom of the darkness. He came to be so high indeed. Candata laughed out loud, saying, Well done. I shall be out of this place in no time. But then, he noticed something. Wriggling far down below. It was the other sinners. They were also climbing up the thread to try to escape from hell. Candata was shocked. 
He rolled his eyes, with his mouth wide open like a clown. Sinners hanging on the thread, were countless. They were all climbing up, like a line of ants. The thread is so thin to endure, even can add his weight. How can it hold the weight of all those sinners? If he doesn't do anything, soon it will break, and he will fall back to the bottom of hell. Candida gave them a glare, and shouted out loud. Hey, you goddamn sinners! This spider thread is all mine. Who said you can climb on it? Get off! Get off! As soon as Candata said this, the thread snapped just above him. Candata fell in a spiral, slowly spinning like a falling leaf, in howling wind. And eventually, he fell down, back to the bottom of hell. Buddha was watching the whole scene, from the edge of the lotus pond. When Kandata fell back, to the bottom of hell, he appeared to be sad. Why did the thread snap? When Kandata said his final words. Well, nobody knows for sure. Buddha was watching the pond for a while, after Kandata had fallen back to hell. But then, he regained his normal, calm expression on his face. And started to stroll, around the pond again. Lotus flowers were wiggling, like pure white jewels. Pleasant fragrance from the flowers, was continuously drifting in the air. It was almost noontime, in paradise. <laughs>